Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read and this one is for the sign of Taurus. Taurus, you are last in the readings this week, not that it makes any difference because I upload them all at the same time. So it doesn't make any difference at all, that's why I've been doing them at random. I used to find when I did them everybody be saying, where's this one, where's that one, doesn't matter. I do them all at once now, so nobody can feel like I'm leaving anyone out or paying special attention. So, you could question then that the reason you're last is because I left the best till last, right? Okay, just remember these readings are general. They will not apply to everybody. Um, they do flip-flop. The energies go all over the place, so take what you need. Sometimes they won't resonate. Um, and I'm using the Cosmic Tarot for your reading here. Um, for some of you here, there's some sort of change in your work situation. Work's coming through very strongly here with this reading. Um, it could be you're about to hear about a job um, that's coming to you. Something perhaps you really wanted, but maybe you felt that you wouldn't get. So let's have a look. All right, so the very nice, you have the Empress coming out. So the Empress is the card of Mother Gaia. Uh, Mother, uh, uh, sorry, Mother Nature, the card of Gaia. Um, this is about birthing something at the right time. So for some of you, this can be about falling pregnant, having a baby. But for others of you, this is about birthing something brand new, something you're going to really love. You're going to be able to put, fully invest in this. It's something very beautiful coming your way. Something that you've been looking into the future and waiting for. So you may have been waiting for somebody to get back to you on something, but you are waiting for your ships to come in here. So maybe some of you here have finished some sort of learning um, degree course and you didn't really really think that you'd be able to get into the work as quickly as you have but it looks like you're doing that very quickly king of swords coming in here so if this is about romance somebody could be coming into your life that wants to offer you the sword of truth that means clarity um, somebody who may be very very much in love with you and need to disclose that someone who may be ready to make an apology but this is a king, so he means business here. Could be an Aries, uh, sorry, not could be an Aries. Uh, could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. Um, but to me, this is your card here coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. There is something that's held you back up until now, but now they're ready to move forward. So if this is a job, someone's about to come in and say that they want you working for them. Um, I feel that you've just finished some sort of education around that, some sort of course and the particular thing you wanted, you didn't think you'd get and you've got the very first thing you've gone after or what you wanted. So there's a very strong feeling here that something is coming in for you that you really wanted to have. So let's have a look. So here is the Prince of Pentacles. Now, the Prince of Pentacles is very slow moving. But I feel that here, something's been coming to you, but maybe it's taken longer than you thought it would. The Prince of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, um, but it's very grounded and very, um, it's very much something really tangible here, something that's really right for you, something that's fitting everything. Just, just keep going. Six of Swords here. So you may have moved away from some other situation. If it was work, you may have moved out of one industry to move into another industry here. Maybe you've been sort of trying to make something work for a long time that hasn't been really serving you. Um, and you're about to close out this negative cycle now. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles coming in. So somebody else had a lot of Ten in, in their readings too. Five of Pentacles coming in here and the Strength card. I think it's the first time I've seen that today. So there's something here that you moved away from because it wasn't bringing in what you wanted. You could have been burned out. You could have had enough of something. And you decided to move forward, which is really good because you're closing out things that no longer serve you here. Now, it may have been a hard decision to make and you might have had to work to get yourself back to where you needed to be. But that doesn't matter. You're coming out firing on all cylinders now. You're really in a place where you want to be. Yeah, you've had some sort of rebirth here with the death. So definitely for some of you, this is coming out of one... Um, 
Maybe you've come out of one industry and gone into something completely different. Maybe you thought it would take a while to break down the walls, but it's not. You're going straight into it. And there's the sword that the king was holding earlier. Something is giving you great clarity. You're moving forward here and finding balance in what you wanted to do. So I feel that here, it's like you're feeling really good about this decision. I want to say to you, there's absolutely no cups in this reading at all. So it's definitely about work, even self-employment, um, but very much about moving into a new way of doing things, new job, new business, new ideas, birthing new ideas, looking towards the future. Somebody's about to offer you something here after perhaps a period of feeling very flat. You're moving forward very quickly now, though. Um, I feel like you've been stuck for a while. It could have been that you are really over the job you're in or you've been really looking for something new. You may not have had a job. Maybe you've retrained for something. But there's a very strong sort of eight of cups coming out here. So definitely moving away from things that don't emotionally rock your boat anymore. Moving into new times. Rebirthing new things. You're sick of being held back here. You want to make money. You want to have your name heard. You want some sort of victory. You're sort of sick and tired of having or feeling like left out in the cold here. It's like you're sick and tired of being stuck. Yeah. Okay. You may have moved away from a situation after some sort of conflict here. I finally have a Prince of Cups here. Somebody's about to offer you something to help you move forward. Um, but whatever you're being offered here is much better than what you were doing before. Because I feel like there was a great sense of loss here. But you're now moving forward. A big sense of loss. You could have lost um, or not had money for something. May have been concerned that you could make your funds last. You could have lost some things here because there's a, a feeling of loss strongly in this reading. But I want to say to you, things are turning around here. And the card that's come out is Truth Be Told, which is card 14. Um, some of you may have lost like some of your possessions property um there's been some real heartbreak here though but you felt a loss maybe you felt that you weren't going to go anywhere but i'm here to tell you things are about to take a big turn okay so this is about honesty accepting things at face value coming out of denial the willingness to be transparent clarity of communication so this talks about the truth, and that's what I said to you. You have this new start based in truth here. Um, this is about you speaking out for what you want. So it's about dropping away the things that have kept you trapped. So maybe you felt that you were stuck in this position because it was something you had to be or something you had to do. But what you've done is you've come out of this sort of like time of feeling very left out in the cold to move into this time of truth. So there's something here that you've had to learn. But I really feel some of you have gone rock bottom to learn this lesson. Good news this week, though, or thereabouts. <laughs> Thanks, Taurus.